30 minutes duration, two balls, two submissions, or two disqualifications to decide. The team in the red corner for Portsmouth, Big Blue Allen. His partner, the new heavyweight wrestling champion of Great Britain, 33 stone, the Great introduction by Johnny Dale there to this tag team contest. Once again, Grapple fans, it's tag team time. 30 minutes of it, two falls, two submissions, two knockouts or two disqualifications to decide the winners here. Over 30 minutes. Big Daddy and the former heavyweight champion of Great Britain, Tony Sinclair on the left there. Tony Sinclair lost his heavyweight belt to the big man on the right there, and when I say big, I mean big. 33 stone of Luke McMasters, known as Giant Haystacks, and Big Bruno Elrings and his partner. The first session commenced wrestling. And here we go for the first session of this tag contest. Tony Sinclair versus Bruno. We always call him Bruno, because in this fully attire with the white boots and the black tights and also the black bandage around the left elbow beard all kinds of identification points there with Bruno Come on, and it's Max Ward the referee looking after this one or doing his best to it's a way to turn out of a finger in the lock at the hair pull Holding press to the feet through the ropes. Tony Sinclair ran out of mat there, but he should start that a little further over. No! And that a little bit low and a little bit quick there by Bruno. Full name, of course, Bruno Ellerington, Portsmouth, six foot four inches, 20 stone, seven pounds. Bruno, just 13 stone lighter than his partner here this afternoon. Well, it's a neat arm lock there that Bruno's got on, and it's a double arm lock, but can he avoid the left? Sinclair may not look it in size wise, but he's a very strong boy. Walking with that one. And again, the hair pulled to bring the man up the canvas. And anything goes on this corner, the referee better watch closely, from outside especially. And of course, each time Max Ward. The referee turns to admonish one man who should be watching behind him as well, what the other is doing. Oh, this is going to be mayhem here this afternoon, no question about that. All four men will end up in the ring here, I bet. But it's still Bruno versus Tony Sinclair. All four men in the ring right now. And they've got to get out again. Pretty quick uppercut there, Bruno. Tony Sinclair caught wheeling out of that nicely on flying tackle. 
Just a question of balance now. He's got him over the top cross press. Kicked off by Bruno's partner from outside the ring. the big man, giant haystacks, and in comes Big Daddy, this is the one that haystacks has been trying to avoid, but he's got him now, Bruno back in against Big Daddy. Haystack's had enough for a moment. The splash, the hold on, never moved from there. So four minutes, 30 seconds into the bout. And the first one to Big Daddy over Bruno. Four, but it's the team that matters, and that's why the Johnny Dale there announced both names. So, any second now, continue with the second Three session. Second second to match Still well over 23, four minutes to go here, and it's just a question of the referee, Kenny Spot, the troubles. Big Haystacks was trying to get in with Big Daddy there, but Bruno had to. That's how the fall occurred. In comes Tony Sinclair against Bruno. Very close in drop kick of Tony Sinclair's. Really excellent. He performs it really well. Now he doesn't want to know anymore. So in comes the big man, Tony Sinclair, quite happy. This is the man that took his British heavyweight belt off him at the Albert Hall in November this year. And he says he was robbed. Well, now we'll find out whether... A comparatively small Tony Sinclair, a mere 15 stone three, can stand up to somebody over twice his weight. Not bad. Flying tackle, but he'll never get him over the crash. And the splash on the legs. And he's caught the leg. This is what he did at the Albert Hall to win the title. And it looks trouble for Sinclair. He's up just in time, but of course, Sinclair, he knows exactly what to go. A single leg Boston, and you'll get a submission from this. The equalizer very quick, just six minutes, 45 seconds into the bus. The equalizing submission to Haystack over Sinclair. Two fellas, a joint weight of 53 stone, 10 pounds. I hope they don't fall this way. They come out of the ring. But there's a lot of time to go yet. Still over 20 minutes, and any second to restart. Take it away, the fun final session, commence wrestling. One each now, and Tony Sinclair with a very badly injured left leg. There's going to be real trouble here from the big man, Giant Haystacks who knows all about that left leg, because he did it. Slam. One more splash will probably fix him up. Another clutch hold. But this time, Tony Sinclair's right over on the shoulders, trying to force the balance. And Big Daddy's in the corner, hoping from outside. 
and he shoved him this right. He shoved him. Sinclair on top of the cross, cross over the face. And he's got the winner. He's got the winner. Sinclair over Haystacks. And it just took him 8 minutes, 25 seconds to do it. And everybody complaining now, of course. Bruno complaining, Haystack complaining. But Big Daddy pushed him from outside the ring. And he did. Let's see what the referee says. Minutes of the contest with a shorter press. That was the winning fall to Haystack. Yes, and thank Bruno you. Was to Tony Sinclair and Big Daddy, but because Big Daddy pushed Tony Sinclair, the referee has disallowed the fall. So it's disallowed. Big Daddy was seen to shock Tony Sinclair, but it's still Tony Sinclair has got to come in against Haystack. And that left leg in trouble, he's going to be in real problems. Commence wrestling. So here we go. It wasn't the end of the bout. And eventually, Tony Sinclair goes over the top of the cross first. Very quick. Wow. So it, it ended in nine minutes instead of 8.25. Not much difference. Cross press just the same. And still, the two big men complain.